everybody, my name is Hannah Parker and I am a thyroid nutrition consultant at Holistic Thyroid Solutions. I see women um, both um, in person in Lafayette, Indiana and via Skype across the country and I work with them to alleviate their symptoms through food and lifestyle choices and I just really love it. So today I want to talk specifically about detoxification and this is not just for thyroid disease, this is really for overall health. I do work a lot with my thyroid clients on detoxification. One of the main reasons for that is that your liver, where a lot of the detox happens, is one of the main places that T4 to T3 gets converted, which is that, that that inactive form of the thyroid hormone to the active form. So it's so important that we are releasing that toxin load on our bodies so that our thyroid can function normally. If you don't have a thyroid issue, this is still so important. If, if you have um, an overburden of toxins in your body, then it's going to drag your energy down. You could start getting skin complaints, digestive issues, energy for sure. Um, and, th and those are you know more minor and it can really lead to more serious things that maybe even require medication. So if you can start supporting your body's detoxification um, pathways and eliminating sources of toxins in your environment, then it's going to do wonders and you should start feeling some of the energy and some of the benefits of that relatively quickly. So I want to share today, I know it can be really overwhelming when you start hearing about all the toxins that are in every product that is common in America. So rather than making you feel overwhelmed, I want you to feel like this is maybe more simple than it seems and that you can take a few ideas and apply it to your life today or within the next week. So I'm just going to share three ways that toxins either enter our body or um, that we um, can start um, changing some things so that so that we're reducing the amount of toxins coming in our bodies. So one of those is the air that we breathe. So um, your lungs, every time you breathe, you're either breathing in good or bad, and that's going to have harmful or positive effects in your body. So one of the main things that you can do to, to clean your air, now your indoor air is often way more contaminated even than outside. So I always start with this one with people because it is so common to have air fresheners and artificially fragranced candles and art and synthetic perfumes on our bodies but those are known endocrine disruptors so they are disrupting our endocrine system and our hormones and causing a hormonal imbalance so not to make it feel overwhelming because i was a bath and body works junkie for many many years and um I know that it's kind of a kind of a comfort to be using those smells, and smells are so important. But if you can start moving away from like Glade plugins and candles and sprays and use more natural forms, um, most commonly used in essential oils. Some there are products that most likely use essential oils that you can buy. Um, but like you see, I have my diffuser going on in the background. Not only does that eliminate the toxic um, fragrance that would be like if I had a candle going over there or a, an air freshener plugged in, but it's putting putting healthy things in the air that I'm breathing in that are having a positive effect on my immune system and my mood and my energy levels. So maybe you can start thinking about one room in the house. Let's say you have a Glade plug-in in your laundry room. Maybe you can t unplug that this week and let that air out of your room and maybe um, start using a diffuser in there a few times a day and Notice how you're feeling. If you get headaches frequently, then that could be part of the reason. And sometimes just switching that out um, is all that it takes to fix that. So maybe the air you breathe is the, is what the area that you want to focus on this week. The next thing is that your skin. So your skin, this is not always thought about, but your skin is, is so absorbent and it's going to take in any product that you put on is going to go through the pores of your skin. So Switching out toxic makeup and lotions and personal other types of personal products for more natural ones is an easy way, especially as women, we're putting things on our bodies and on our faces and in our hair multiple times a day even sometimes. And so we're it's a really important area to focus on to start um, switching those out. So I'm just going to give you my favorite personal care um, brand right now, which is 100% pure. I'm not affiliated with that. I don't sell it. I don't even think you can sell it. 
not that I know of, but it's a really, really great um, site, and that's where I've gotten my makeup lately. That's where I've gotten my shampoos. Um, they have, it's probably one of the more um, extensive lines of natural 